Hi Scorpio, welcome. This is going to be your love reading. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Messages won't resonate with everyone because it's a general reading. If it doesn't, you can always check out your other placements to see if you get more insight. What is going on with Scorpio? Scorpio love messages. <laughs> What's going on with Scorpio? I want a card to like come out. Messages for Scorpio. All right, we'll go with what I feel. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and we have get, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So it's looking like new love for some of you. Getting to know somebody or getting to know someone more, someone who you've been with. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I know some of you have released your ex. You're done with your ex, but sometimes you have to clear your energy. It is a new moon tonight, the 23rd. It goes on for three nights, new moon energy does. So it would be the 23rd, 24th, 25th, maybe 26th, I don't know, maybe. But it does go on and tonight is the first night. So now is a good time to like write the affirmations to clear your energy or even just do like a cleansing. Maybe even it could be as small as taking a shower and just setting the intention that you're clearing your energy with the water. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, you know, but clear your energy because we see new love coming in we i see new love coming in um for you and i see that it's something you've attracted and something in my eye <laughs> i'm rubbing it um the new moon is is a good time to manifest god damn. i think it's the eyelash the new moon is a good time to manifest and with this attraction card, I feel like you should probably like start trying, if you're single or if you're done with your ex, done with a toxic situation, start to write down and manifest, you know, that you're attracting new love or attracting someone better, someone new. It's a really good time to attract, okay? It's, it's a good time to release the past and bring in that new, it's a new moon, okay? So retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So again, if you are alone, if you are newly single or been single, kind of disconnect and just focus on your writing and, and pulling towards you the things that you want. Disconnect from the world, turn off the social media and just spend time thinking about what you want for a little while, maybe just for tonight, who knows. But it's a good time to do these things. So, Messages for Scorpio. You see what I mean? Farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. Hello. <laughs> I told you. Appreciate this moment. It's a new moon. It's a time where it's the strongest time to manifest. And now is where you could get what you want. Now is the time. All right. What else we have for Scorpio? I'm so glad for this because the last reading was so, I was so disappointed, but I'm, I really wanted to get to this so that it could like be a more positive one. So we have guide, a guide, mentor, a trustworthy ally, me, <laughs> guiding you to do your, you know, full moon manifestation, but it could be anyone. You could have a family member who steps in to help you, gives you advice. You got, could have a friend. You know, but we have the unseen, too much is hidden from you. So it looks like the past situation needs to be done because clearly there's things hidden and you don't have time for that anymore. If you go in and try to figure out what's hidden, you're gonna get hurt. Like, who needs that? So let's see what Scorpio can expect. What is coming for Scorpio? What is going on with Scorpio and what's coming? What, what can Scorpio expect? 
we're in February going into March basically so during these times what we have for Scorpio bear with me I don't like when I can see I don't like when I can see the cards so I shuffle again all right Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, wow, okay. We do have someone who deeply misses you, Scorpio, well, deeply feels rejected by you, actually. Deeply feels rejected, maybe missing you, but they do feel very rejected. I see that you're shutting them out. We do have the Seven of Wands. That's how you feel about this situation. So you are shutting somebody out, done with them. You know, this is your heart. You feel like it's being attacked. You're standing up for it, okay? And this person does feel rejected. Um, what did I just see? Oh yeah, the devil here as your overall energy. Kind of, kind of um, showing the toxic situation from the past, you know? It could be a Capricorn that some of you are dealing with. I still have something in my eye. Um, uh, let's see justice could be um, a Libra but this person hopes to get balance it's almost like they want to balance the scales and maybe apologize to you or make it up to you but I do feel like it's too late you know we have temperance is how they see you so they do see you as very calm and balanced they could be a, a Sagittarius with a temperance card but they do see you as kind of the fair one, the one who brings balance. Maybe you bring balance into their life and they, maybe they um, are quite codependent and need you to fill a void. Um, I think that's what, that's what went on in the last reading and it's coming through now. So for some of you, this person does see you as a person that they kind of need. So they might be codependent, but I see that you're not letting them drain you anymore, all right? We have the Ace of Cups is how you see someone. So I'm seeing that it could be a new love that you're seeing um, as this Ace of Cups. You could have a new crush that you're seeing as the Ace of Cups. Some of you could, um, could see a change in this person or it could be new love. It depends on you and your personal situation. But I do see that you're really guarded. So maybe you're open to new love or have a new crush that you're looking at now as the person you want to be with. But we have the eight of wands here between you guys. So I am seeing some action being taken. I'm seeing that you're taking action towards what you want in your life, but I'm seeing that they might be taking action towards you, trying to come towards you. What's blocking is the two of swords. So there is a decision to be made. Some of you might still be connecting with this person and it might be a tough decision to move on. I know some of you are done with them, but there are some people who might still be, you know, still be trying to figure things, trying to figure things out. We do have water behind here, so even though this is swords. There is emotion involved, but you are trying to make a, a logical decision all right even though there's emotions involved it's trying it's like trying to do what's right and it can be tough emotions do keep you kind of tied but you know we have the page of cups so some of you again could have already met a new person could have already attracted someone that you're now getting to know others of you it's come in as long as you you know are open to it and call it in um but yeah, this does show the new love and it's showing how you feel about this person from the past that you're shutting them out. This could also be that you're still guarded even though you're with a new person or even when you meet a new person, you might still feel guarded, you know, protecting your heart because of what you've been through in the past, but that's normal. And your outcome is the page of wands. So I feel like you're going to be communicating with someone. It's going to be fresh and exciting. So again, it's indicating new love. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Capricorn, and Sagittarius so far. 
So let me clarify, get a little deeper. Why is the five of pentacles? Oops, my goodness, that flipping. Why is the five of pentacles here? Five of pentacles, two of cups. This person still sees you as their soulmate. Page of cups, they, they might be reaching out to you. You might be thinking about reaching out. Ten of Pentacles. This person still has you on their mind as a soulmate, as a future spouse, or still a spouse. If you guys are going towards divorce, they still see you as, you know, theirs. And that's why they're feeling rejected. Because it's like, they've lost you. They still feel that you're, you're the one. You know, justice, why justice here, oops, justice, why is justice here, ooh, death, Scorpio energy, you just came stepping out like that, page of, one, page of swords and the nine of pentacles i see this person wanting to come forward and speak some truths you know wanting to balance the scales maybe admit they were wrong this and that but let me see one more card I feel like they want to make things right. Again, this doesn't mean that you even care. It just means that I'm just telling you what's going on with them. Um, the Nine of Pentacles. So they might be feeling single, but, you know, wanting to get back to this connection. They still believe that you belong to them, that you guys are soulmates and meant to be. This could be the energy that they're in as well, the Nine of Swords, because we do have the Five of Pentacles, so feeling rejected and really left out. But, you know. Temperance. Why is Temperance here? So they're definitely seeing you as the Queen of Swords. They see that you've got new options. Mm -mm. This person, that, this could be what's making them feel rejected and left out because they may be seeing your new options or option you know seeing or even just suspecting that of course you're moving on because you're attractive and you wouldn't stay single you know it wouldn't you wouldn't be single for long so even if you are single they still would think that you know of course you've moved on seven of wands why is the Seven of Wands here? Ace of Wands. Oh boy, you see? Oh my God, Seven of Wands again. So you see, you're, you're done. It's been too much of a burden. You've been carrying this for a while. You're dropping it, you're shutting them out. It's like not another round, no more. Exciting new future with the Ace of Wands. And that's it. Some of you, again, have met the new person. Some of you haven't yet, but at least it's something to be... Ex oh, what's that noise? <laughs> at least it's something for you to be excited about. Um, page, of, page of Cups. Some of you are wanting um, communication. Like, I feel like if you heard from this person, even if you're not taking them back, it would be nice to get an apology. It would be nice to hear the truth. You know, it would be nice to, to get closure. You know, it would be nice. But I don't feel like all of you are going towards this person in that way. Some of you could be, let me clarify this Ace of Cups. There's this Ace of Cups here. 
Seven of Pentacles. A lot of waiting. Some of you, some of you, this is, you know, some of you have been single for a while, okay? This person could have become distant, been distant for a while. I see that some of you are waiting and here this person comes like a new person, the king of pentacles type of person, male or female, who is more mature, more stable. This person may take their time though, because it's the pentacles, but taking it slow is the best way person who rushes in that's a red flag you know it's like what are they rushing in to do um but this is this is definitely definitely speaking of the new love it, it looks like some of you have been single and waiting for a while and then here it comes you know seeing someone as a new potential or someone new who comes in soon you're going to be seeing them as a new potential person and they could have all the qualities of the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy all right page of wands let's see there's a page of wands here Three of Cups, Two of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Swords. Some of you it could be a long distance relationship. Um, we have the Four of Wands, looking like stability, excitement, celebration, a nice connection, a soulmate connection. Three of Cups, this could represent this person from the past coming back with the apology. Um, wanting to reconcile doesn't mean you're going to take them up on the offer but you know again though the reason why I'm seeing um, the person from the past returning as well as a new person remember you have the two of swords so some of you do have a decision to make maybe between this person and a new person so that's why that will be showing up but five of, of swords here Speaking of the energy of this person from the past, sitting next to the devil, that toxic codependency energy, codependent energy, next to this five of swords, which is that draining energy, that, that conflicting type of situation, that still exists with this person, even though they feel rejected and sad now. It's like when you take them back, it's just a repeat of the whole thing. That's why you're having to make a wise decision, especially if you have someone new now, you can now look at the new person and say, wow, I have something better. I don't need that. You can also say, okay, I have something better coming towards me. I still don't need that person from the past. Too much is hidden. Okay. So, my goodness. Let's see what we have here. A time to give rather than receive. Your commitment is being tested. This could be your commitment to yourself as well. Keep that in mind. Surrender to the divine. Be bold and make the first move. Some of you have a crush and need to make the first move or maybe, you know, it, it will be a good idea to make the first move if you haven't spoken to them yet. But... Your commitment is being tested. Again, this could be a commitment to yourself to not go back. So you could be tested, you know, like, are you gonna take back that person? It's very tempting. Or are you gonna hope for the best, go towards that new person? We have surrender to the divine, full moon, new moon in Virgo. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with, but yeah. It's like, what are you going to choose? You know, are you going to make the right choice? You have so much going for you right now when it comes to a new person because you have today, tonight and the coming nights to attract this person, work harder towards attracting them into your life with the new moon energy. 
if you haven't met a new person yet. So the moon is there. Take advantage of its power. If you believe you have helpful people, romance, and it's up to you. So again, it's up to you <laughs> what you choose. Be it um, even if you want someone new to come into your life, it's totally up to you because you have the power to attract, believe and trust and just have the patience and just, you know, I don't complain about how long it's going to take. I don't feel like it will take long. Okay, if you believe it's going to take long, it will take long. We have if you believe. So whatever you believe, this is what manifests. So just be positive and believe that that person's just, just around the corner. Helpful people and romance. There could be people coming in that you could talk to, like friends and family, you know, that you can reach out to and talk to, maybe get some help on making this decision, ask how, what they think about this person from the past, or even what they think of the new person, if you trust their advice. But yeah, it's up to you. And romance, this is, this is coming for you, if you believe it. So just stay positive and remember to disconnect from the world and attract the things that you want in your life all right there's no reason under the sun to go back to a toxic situation absolutely none especially not tonight all right so keep that in mind appreciate the the appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles there you go it's like enjoy it enjoy the fact that you can just write down the things that you want on a special night and that it's more likely to manifest. What an advantage. Okay, I'm glad this reading was a lot more positive. These are the messages that I have for you. The signs that are coming up strongly are Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo, and that's it. Those are the strongest, okay? But it could be any sign with the kings and queens that show up. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Everything is here. Oh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So check your moon, Venus, and rising signs if you'd like to know what else is coming. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and thank you so much for watching.